Hey guys, welcome back. Finally, Google has released newer version of Android that is Android Pie 9.0. This is the official stable update for Google Pixel devices and Essential Phone also got this update from their OEM. If you have trouble, you can also install this Android Pie port for your trouble enabled device. In this video, I will install Android Pie on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. You can use this method to install Android Pie on any tribal devices. So before we start, my name is Ami and you are watching Android Power. So first, you need a decrypted device and unlock bootloader and TWRP recovery install in order to install Android Pie. Also you need some files, all the files will be there in video description. Now you need to extract the Android Pie GSF file using any file manager or app. Once you have extracted, it will look like this. Now boot into TWRP recovery. You can use official TWRP recovery or Redful TWRP recovery. No matter, all the things will be remain same. Now if you have encrypted device, just format data and transfer all the files. If you have already decrypted your Redmi Note 5 Pro, then follow the steps from here. Now go to wipe, then advanced wipe, select catch, Delvi catch, system, data and vendor and swipe to wipe now go back and hit the install button and navigate the downloaded files and select the trivial version 3 zip and swipe to confirm flash once this done again hit the install button then click on install image and select the android pi gsi port image file and flash as a system image Now go to home, select mount and mount system and vendor. Again go to install and select the no name kernel if you want better battery life. Otherwise skip this, tap on add more zip and select post sgsi 3 zip and flash it. Now again go to mount and mount system and vendor. Then go to install and select the overlay zip to fix the Android P gestures in Redmi Note 5 Pro and flash it. Once this done, hit the reboot button. Now we have done flashing Android Pie. As you can see, this is the Android Pie in Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now there is too much lag in this port and some resistance notification. In order to fix this, Go to app info of the notifications and force stop it one by one. Now go to file manager and install the updated Google Play services APK to fix lag and get rid of from resistance notifications. Once this done, connect to Wi-Fi and set up all the things. Now go to settings, system, about phone and as you can see based on Android Pie 9.0 with August security patch which is the latest and the greatest. If you want to root your phone, go to TWRP recovery again and mount vendor and hit the install button and flash the magic triple zip to root Redmi Note 5 Pro. Once this done, reboot your phone. Now we have booted back into our phone. Now in order to install Gcam in this port, you need to install Gcam in previous ROM and make a backup using Titanium Backup. Because if you install a Gcam in Android Pie, settings of the Gcam will crash in Android Pie. I have already made a backup in previous ROM. Now restore your backup in this ROM. Now don't open the Gcam. Just go to Magix Manager, tap on 3 dot menu on the top left side and go to modules, hit the plus icon at the bottom and flash the camera to API enabler. You can also download this camera to API enabler in the download section of the Magix manager. Now reboot your phone. If you want to enable Android Pie gestures, go to settings, system, gestures and enable this option. If you have issues with USB file transfer, 
tap on build number 7 times to enable developer options, scroll down and go to USB settings and select the file transfer option. You can feel the fluid Android experience with Android Pie. Peel is also now more responsive than before. On the next, we have new option in device settings named as Digital Wellbeing. If you are using a Pixel device, then this is officially in the phone. But if you are like me using a Trivial GSI, then you need to install Digital Wellbeing as a normal APK and reboot your phone to get these options in settings. This basically tracks your app usage, it will also track your habit and digital health and will let you know about how to switch things for better battery life and balance. This basically tracks your app's usage, it will also track your habit and digital health and will let you know when and how to switch things off for a better life balance. It will also show you how many times you have unlocked your phone and how many times you have received the notifications. This is the dashboard of all application usage. It will show you the graph of all applications with their usage. If you tap on any name of the app here, it will show you the app details of app usage and you can set the timer. Next quick feature is also related to digital well-being. This is the wind down feature in digital well-being. If you enable this option, it will turn your device into grayscale, means black and white, which means it encourages you to switch off your device and make you feel like it's sleeping time. You can call this as a new do not disturb mode. You can also set the timer for this. It will automatically disable itself in the morning. The performance of the ROM is very fine than the developer preview. And talking about some benchmark scores, the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 1515 and the multi-core score is 5346 and Antutu version 7 score is 1,29,938. So if you want to know full features of this Android Pie, you can watch my previous video. Links will be there in description box. So that's pretty much for this video. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button. Till then, I'm signing off. Bye-bye.